surely here in season number one, there is no way, shape or form that Leicester can win the Champions League. But we do find ourselves in a quarter-final, very, very close to booking our place in a semi after beating Manchester City in the last episode. Is it wrong at this stage to really dare to dream that Leicester City could be Champions League champions? Yo, guys, what's going on? This is Yorkie here, and welcome back to another episode of this Leicester City career about here on FIFA 22. And we've got a lot going on today in this episode. We've got a semi-final in the FA Cup, and we've also got a quarter-final against Manchester City. I'm going to try and fly through some other games as well. Uh, the Chelsea game now will not be a live comp. I think we'll just do that as a highlight package. And let's just get through some matches and hopefully find ourselves close towards the end of the season. There's only one more episode to go after this one, and then we will have finished another season here with Leicester. And I'm very aware that we need to start progressing these series a little bit quicker because we have stagnated just a touch in terms of the speed we get through these and at this stage of FIFA with the viewership we need to start piling through so that's going to be my aim I'm going to try and fly through episodes a lot quicker and get through the seasons a lot quicker as well first of all if you are new around here though make sure to smash that subscribe button I would massively appreciate it now we had some issues with the camera last time out this is the default setting for the camera so this is this is how it's supposed to be not a really long box, a square box. Now, there was some filters on it that shouldn't have been on it, but this is how it should look. And this, I think I look... I don't know why I'm waving. I think I look all right. So let me know. We can stretch it again. I can do that if that's what you guys want, but this is the default setting for this webcam. Ideally, in the future, you know, there'll be some better lighting instead of the room light and a better camera, but... For now, this is what we've got. Monthly scouting report to kick this one off as well, and hopefully... We're going to find some more Irish talent. It's it's not There's not been a wealth, as there. There's not been a wealth of Irish talent for us so far. And there's not going to be there. We did actually manage to bring two in last time that looked like really good players. McLaughlin and McVeigh. And McVeigh, I'm, I'm very much tempted to bring him up right now. Yuan can be changed to a striker, which will make him 61, which is nice to see. At 15, Yuan has a lot of potential. Skinny arms, because that's what all the best players seem to have. Like, literally, apart from Gibbs, all right, Gibbs might be all right, but literally all the best players have the bloody skinny arms. There's just no avoiding it. So we're going to be like the skinny arm gang by the end of this series. But McVeigh and Yuan both look decent. Glocklin could improve as well, but I'm kind of at a range where if you're not 60, you're, you're probably not going to be brought up. So I took suggestions on board. There was a lot of them for centre-back. Very similar to what we've had, but I've never used Garvidol or Gav Diol. I can't say his name. We'll learn it, I promise, and then I'll still butcher it every time. But Josko, we, we could bring him in. He could be a decent centre-back. Of course, we've got Lacoya on here, but I'm just not sure whether we sign him in this one. He has been hotly wanted by everyone in every series I've done. I think he's the guy this year, isn't he? There's always a guy every year on FIFA. He's the guy for this year. But I'm just not sure this is the team that I want to bring him into, although he is extremely quick, which would fix that problem. And then, of course, Timber. He's found himself at Leeds United here. Let's go, but... I'm not sure if we bring him in because we had him at Spurs. So for me, I wouldn't mind using some different players. There are a great number of players here as well. Tap Soda, we haven't used this year. Could be a beast. Used him in a Leverkusen series in time gone past. Obviously, Bastoni's out of our reach now that he's gone to Madrid. But Mancini, the ex Roma player, he could be very good for us as well. He's gone to Leon now. But Leon is a team that I look at and I think, yeah, we could nick someone from that. Evan and Dicker could be someone who's decent. So I think he's actually fairly quick. He's got decent sprint speed and acceleration and still a decent error of the football. So there are a lot of options here. I'm not sure yet, but we definitely know centre-back is a problem for next season. And it's where we need to improve because Yannick Vestergaard's days are numbered. If we're going to be a Champions League team, his days are numbered and it's time for him to move on. Shock surprise is that we still actually managed to keep the players that we've kept, if we're being honest with each other. Did you imagine that at this stage of the series, we still have Ndidi? 3-1 up in the first leg. Pick the team to take out Man City. This is starting 11. Thing to note that we do have Tielemans and Madison on the bench. Tielemans, I would definitely like to get on for 45 minutes in this match to give him that opportunity and getting that game time. We know that they're going to be dangerous. We're at home. Let's make it a fortress and let's go through to a semi in the Champions League, which I definitely didn't expect. No kit clash in this one, luckily. Our home kit and their away kit works perfectly together. I maybe should have gone away and away again, but does it really matter? Let's win this game. Well, Man City kick us off and they've got the work to do. They're going to be chasing the game here. 
we have the lead. So all we have to do, defend that, be comfortable. Don't worry too much, although I already am. I'm already extremely nervous. We're sticking to heavy pressure as well in this one. Oh, that might be a mistake already. Phil Foden, what a ball roll. Salasu, Gabriel Jesus. Wow, five minutes into the match. We couldn't hold it, could we? Five minutes into the match. And there we go. Man City make it 1-0. This is going to be a tough game of football. And that is not the way I wanted to start it. Just let them cut right through us. Phil Foden with the filthy ball roll there did me completely. And I mean, Schmeichel gets close to it. Jesus just fires in a rocket. So much power behind that. Not the ideal start, if we're being honest. Before we've even touched the football, we've got a goal down. I mean, come on. Not really how you want to start a game of football, but... I've got faith. These boys can bag goals. We know that. That's probably been our strongest suit this season. Not our defence. Our ability to go forward. Jeremy Pino will fire that into Dakar now. And he's the danger man. Good footwork there from Dakar. That's a poor ball back across the brook. So and our first attack will just teeter out just like that. They were saying we are going to pressure on the heavy touch again. But I'm thinking about making a tactic video. Which I never thought I'd do on FIFA. But... This does work very well. If you use your players properly, you'll be found out if you don't bring your players back correctly and put them in the right positions. I often look to block a pass. Then I do look to attack a player. And City starting really lively. Not ideal. On a like, that was okay. I mean, Jeremy, just collect that. I don't know why you let it run right through. And then Sanchez tucks it out. We look like we're not prepared for this. We certainly look like we're not used to this stage. Even in these kind of opportunities already. Fran Torres. Oh, I'm getting done by that ball roll every time. Gabriel Jesus now. We forced them back. Rodri. What a save. It's going to be another corner. Yeah, it is. This is insane pressure at the moment. And we need to fight our way out of this. Kim Pembe went for the overhead kick. A little bit of respite now. Only a little bit though. I don't know what's happened here to start this game off. We've not even been in it. We've barely won the ball back. I don't expect to have possession in this match. If we're being honest, that's a good ball though. Ricardo. Oh, what's the ball in, Ricardo? What is the ball in? At the moment, we can't string a pass together, can we? That's a little bit better. Ricardo. He loses out. Oh, he's won it back though. Brooks, what can he do? I needed a bit more help than that, didn't I? Indeed, he's still got it though. Sanchez now needs a bit more help. Jeremy Pino. Look at this. We're going to struggle to break this lot down. I'm telling you that now. Sanchez, can he fire off the shot? He can't, it's blocked. I, I'm really struggling here. I'm struggling with them, and I'm also massively struggling with this situation we've just found ourselves in. Gabriel Jesus, force him as wide as possible. Salasu comes back to block it. I think we can count ourselves quite lucky to be going in at the half time here and only be one down. It should be more. They should have knocked us out already at this stage. It should be a lot more. Man City really on form. We need to... I don't know, we need to figure something out. That passing in that first half was absolutely awful. We need a very spirited second half here if we're going to go through. A very spirited second half. Let's see if I can get that from the boys. We didn't really get this man on the football too much in the first half. And he's going to win us a free kick here at the start of the second. He'll fold it again, man. Straight through the back. That's a yellow. That is a yellow all day long. Yeah, you'll pull him away, De Bruyne. Come through the back of Luckman there. I'm going to actually just, just play that forward. I don't want to go too mad with that one. Sanchez. Didi. Let me just find a way through. That's in Dakar. That might be good. That might be really good. David Brooks. Oh, what a massive moment for him. Brooks with a goal. A great ticky tackle football. Unbelievable. I cannot believe we managed to make that work for ourselves, but we have done. And that, we're right back in it. And we're in the lead. Massive moment this in the game. At the start of the second half as well. Sanchez's pass there. We needed that. They've been passing absolutely dreadful all game. And that is the best pass of the match so far. It'll be a good feeling that for Brooks as well. Do you know what I mean? I say it a lot, but I like Brooks. Well, can we rattle Man City a bit here now in this second? We might just be able to. Justin's been found. Go on then, Dakar. Go on then, Dakar. That's not bad. Chip. I, I've got to stop. I'm not doing it no more. I'm not going for these chips, boys. I'm not. I'm not doing it. Grand Torres here now. Man City. Oh, I don't like this. Gabriel Jesus. Oh, my God. What a finish from Gabby Jesus. 2-1. He's the danger man, isn't he? He really is. But this is just a nice finish, and I couldn't block him. We started the second half well, but, I mean, conceding that, what a sucker punch. At the moment, we are going into added time. It's 4-4 here. Be more from Luckman in this one. I want Phil Foden getting sent off, really. It's a poor ball in. 
Maybe you should have tried to chip it. They've been a different animal today going forward, aren't they, Man City? And I said that at the end of the last game, didn't I? That if we gave them a sniff in this second leg, they'd be uh, they'd be a nightmare to deal with. And they have been. Well, Yuri Tielemans is going to get a say here. We're going to bring him on for Renato Sanchez. And they're bringing off the man who's on the hat trick. Gabriel Hayes. I don't know why, Pep. I don't, I'm not going to... I'm going to doubt his decision making, but they're big on Roger again. Bit of a stalemate now, isn't it? Just a bit of a stalemate now. Well done. Oh, that might be good. It was. Roger's come on and potentially scored the winner for Man City. Never said it was good play. I couldn't decide what to do, who to bring to him, who to move forward. I thought we might have played him offside. We didn't. And there we go. Man City 3-1. And they've been a different animal in this match. Well, can we get back into it? That's the big question. At home. Lutman now. I just can't get the run, can I? Luckman's done really well there. Luckman's still on it. What a tackle that is by Jao Concello. Luckman stayed down, and that's not ideal. Referee took his sweet time there, not going to lie. Referee took his sweet time there. And uh, we're going to bring on Madison at left mid, because it appears I didn't put one on the bench. Don't know why, but that's the situation we find ourselves in. The rough tackle, it was well-timed, though. There was nothing wrong with it. It just means Man City get the ball back here in this situation, which is where I don't want them to have it. Tielemans, that is brilliant. Tielemans. Madison. He doesn't really have the legs. I need help. Oh, maybe he does have the legs. James Madison's first touch. Terrible. It's straight at Edison. I don't think we're going to get a better moment than that. I don't think we get a better moment than that. Didi won it back. Brooks now. Plays it in behind. Daka surely. Daka in the 91st minute. We're going to extra time, boys. And Atlas Stewart had to hold someone back. Had to hold a fan back. Not surprised. Look at that. The fans are coming up pitch and lot. Oh, no. They're, are they holding the fans back? I don't know. But there we go. What a moment to score. Is it going to be heartbreak for Man City again in Europe? What a ball from Brooks through to Daka. And I knew when he was in that position, he is going to finish it and breathe extra time. Is soon to be upon us. I need to be prepared. What a game of football. 3-2 now. Well, what a classic this has turned out to be and will continue to be as we head into extra time. Nervous is an understatement. And Patterson Daka's knackered. But I can't bring him off, can I? They brought on Herrera. Kevin De Bruyne. I need Dakar on the pitch in case it goes to penalties. Madison's done brilliantly there. Madison. Oh, he couldn't move it out wide. And now we're going to be in a very dangerous position. Watch it. Oh, I slid in at the wrong time. Sterling. Well saved from Schmeichel. It was a bit of a big ask, wasn't it, from that distance for Sterling? Oh, another mistaken pass here. Roger. Ooh, that was a bit rough. I thought I'd timed that perfectly. He gets a yellow. Phil Foden should have been a yellow, though. We get a yellow for that. Phil Foden done. They want me to bring Dakar off. He's absolutely Dakar. Jeremy Pino. Jeremy Pino, the ball from Patterson Dakar is absolutely shanked. It's awful. One of the worst passes you'll ever see. Although Tielemans is going to end up on the football here. Handball, Tielemans. Oh, it's cleared. Oh, drama. Drama. We'll kick off here. The second half of extra time. And I, I don't know. Maybe we should have scored there right at the end of this one. We didn't. And... I'm nervous now. That was terrible for Madison. That all it's going to take is just one good opportunity for them. And they'll be in. Oh, that was poor. Bill Folden. Not like this. Joe Concello. Great tackle from Tielemans. Tielemans has come on and been great. You don't actually realise how much you miss someone. Is he off? Oh, that does it. Madison's ball was awful. Take two for Dakar to Jeremy Pino. <laughs> Jeremy Pino, the pass from Pass and Daka. And are we going to a semi? This is great from Daka, and this is why I didn't bring him off. Second time, brilliant. And the technique from unbelievable from Jeremy Pino, that technique. Honestly, this technique is fantastic. Beats Edison. And we're going to a semi, I think. We need those fresh legs in midfield if we're gonna hold. I don't want to bring a Didi off, but he's absolutely knackered. Ran himself into the ground today. Samare will come on in what is a huge game. I don't know what the future holds for Samare, but if he could put in a decent shift there right towards the end of the match, that would be massive. I can't believe it is 3-3, and at this moment in time, we're going through. Oh, Salisu, what a tackle. No, I can't believe he's given this as a foul. He clearly gets the ball ref. Luckily, on a yellow, they haven't sent him off, but he clearly gets the ball. I can't see any issue with that. I just can't see any issue with it. Coming last chance saloon here for Man City. That's a really good ball in. Oh, no. It's 6-6. Six, six. 
What a ball in. I don't think that ever should be a free kick, though. I'm going to be honest with you. Let me know in the comments down below. No, it was that actually a free kick. I don't believe so, but what can I do, lads? What can I do? What a finish that is from Herrera. I don't know who is, who's supposed to win the header. Oh, it's Samare, isn't it? I've just brought Samare on and he's assisted Herrera. Oh, dreadful. Not an ideal situation to find ourselves in. For them to score there is heartbreaking. We're still on for a pen shootout. We might be on for more. Is there even more drama in this game? That is nice. Oh, if Brooks finds that pass to Daka, I put my house on it. That is poor, though. Is there one last opportunity? Brooks finds Madison. Madison's not going to do anything with that. Back into Brooks. Brooks just lays that one on to Madison, and it weren't enough. We weren't in front of him, and we're going to have a penalty shootout here to determine who goes to the semis. Well, what a game of football, first off. And if you didn't already know, I'm bad at these. I'm really, really bad at these. I'm going to put Jeremy Pino there where Pereira is. It might be the wrong decision, but I've done it now. Let's see what happens. Um, they've definitely got better penalty kick takers than us. Patson Daka with the first one. Just start the tone right, Patson. And there we go. 1-0. So we lead in the penalty shootout. And I say, this might could be my hero. Oh, it's over the bar. It's over the bar. James Madison, you've been rubbish. Please be good here. Please be good. Oh, I thought it hit the post and went in. Madison misses. Ferreira. Oh, I've gone the wrong way. Great. It's Ferran Torres as well, not Ferreira. Helemans. Please score it. Oh, Edison saves it. Oh, he started the pen so well. Phil Foden. Oh, he slots it home. This is getting bad. Brooks has to score. Please, Brooks. Please. Yes. Need a save here, Schmeichel. Need a save. Going right. Oh, it's over the bar from Sterling. Jeremy Pino. Jeremy Pino. What can he do? One, Jeremy. Oh, he drills it home. Here we go. If Casper Schmeichel saves this. He's not saved one yet, by the way. But if Casper Schmeichel saves this, we go through. He's going left. He's going right. I think he's going right. Oh, he's in the post. Leicester City are through to the semi-final. Man City are going to be in tears again. Another year where they failed to make it. They've been knocked out in the quarters here by Leicester City. Zinchenko hitting the post from the penalty. Through's all round, lads. Through's all around. I cannot believe that. I... Oh. I mean, Evan, I mean, they were the better team in that match as well. They were the better team in that game. We've won our bloody penalties. Never win penalties either. I never win penalties. We could have PSG, Atletico Madrid, or Real Madrid. So, I mean, it don't get no easier, but we're in with the conversation of those teams. Luckman went down in that match, so I want to see what the injury is. Two months, Luckman will be out for the rest of the season. He's kind of like our key weapon when it comes to the counter-attack, so... A little bit devastated. The games have been restructured. So let's see who we've got. Atletico Madrid. They're now in the next round. Of course, we're going to play the Southampton game. I might just do a quick highlight package for the first leg. And then we'll live come the second leg. Because I'd love to just get this entire month out of the way. So in the next episode, we do Atletico Madrid and maybe Arsenal. And the final, potentially. Uh, or a couple of finals, we'll see. Here we go, a massive game against Chelsea, and they took the lead. All we need, really, in this is just to get a point. Just don't lose the game. But Romelu Lukaku opened up the scoring here with some really good tight passing in the box, and in the end, he was there to finish the goal. They made life very difficult for us. They played really well, did Chelsea. I will add that there's two shots from us that hit the woodwork. Ruben Loftus-Cheek and Jamie Vardy both hit the woodwork before this opportunity here for Timo Werner, which was well saved by Schmeichel. Michael will be called back into action straight away again, only a minute later, with another great header. Timo Werner absolutely run me ragged in this game. He was a nightmare for my defence to deal with. And we know we've got a bad defence anyway. Yannick Vestergaard started. Passing Daka absolutely knackered. I needed Jamie Vardy to stand up. That ball in there by Loftus-Cheek. Nobody tracking the unbelievable run here from Jamie Vardy. He makes it 1-1. 
We're right back in the game here at Stamford Bridge. We moved the ball really nicely here, which we've done in patches this season for Tielemann to fire off a shot, but a great save for Mendy. And then very late on in the match, we do have this header with Wilfred and Didi. But that was it. Game done and dusted. It did finish 1-1. And actually not a bad result for us. Like I say, all we needed to do today was not lose the game. Chelsea dominated it in terms of possession. And again, our passing wasn't quite up there. You can't see right now, but we did have 81 pass percent accuracy. Regardless, this keeps us ahead of them in the table. That's why it was so important just to not lose this one. Sometimes you're going to have those games in a season where it's more important not to lose. Man City lost to Newcastle there unbelievable stuff it does however as you can see keep us fourth with the game in hand which i imagine will be this burnley one feeling pretty comfortable burnley was the game in hand and luckily for us we managed to win it ian Acho, i opted within this one knowing that we've got southampton coming up straight after this one he opened up the scoring brooks got the winner for us i only made one sub because the team that i put out to play against burnley i weren't worried about them playing against southampton so I just wanted to keep them out on the pitch. Sheng started again. So Southampton, who famously beat me 5-0 when I was managing Tottenham Hotspur, is the team we face in the semi-final of the FA Cup. Unfortunately for us, Burnley, two days Southampton, two days Atletico Madrid. So we've really been punished here with the fixture list, but it's our first trip to Wembley in an FA Cup tie for me being Leicester City manager I've opted with Vardy of course we're arresting the main man Pats and Daka for the Atletico Madrid game it would be massive here if we could make it to a final it really would it's great to be playing at Wembley as well hopefully we'll be back here again at the end of the season to try and fight for the FA Cup another trophy in the cabinet well, it's going to go down well isn't it with the fan base that's for sure and don't forget we're still in the semis of the Champions League this season is going a lot better than expected. It was a good start, then a mixed kind of January, well, before January, really, winter period. It is between Brighton and Man City in the final. Now, Man City will have blood on their minds because we did knock them out of the Champions League. So that could be a really feisty final if it's up against Man City. Let's not overlook Southampton, though. Let's make sure we get there first. I tell you something, the groundsman at Wembley, all right, isn't he? Pretty good at his job. I wonder if we could borrow him for next season or if he'd like a job for the Foxes. That'd be nice. But I need to be focused because we've seen what Southampton could do to me when they're fancying it. Oh, that's a bit of space there for Brooks. And that's probably the wrong pass from Gomez, but Brooks is going to get the ball back. I feel like they're going to be very deep all game. That one bounced up not nicely at all. And these overlaps could be massive. Jamie Vardy. Trying to create some space for himself. I've got to get better balls into the box than what I just managed to get there. Sanchez. Jeremy. That's decent. Oh, we just couldn't thread it through. They've got Niang up top of Southampton. Niang's caused me issues in the past, so I'm hoping he doesn't. He's The problem with Niang, right, is he's physical and he's rapid as well. So he's a double whammy. A bit like Pats and Dakers, very quick. But he's actually got that physical side of him. It's not just one or the other. He's still tall and strong and a big issue. And this could be a dangerous position. How has that found the back of the net, Schmeichel? Well, I'm Armstrong here. Makes it 1-0. I just I want to see how it made it into the back of the net. I don't know what happened there. It bubbled off someone. I know that for sure. It bubbled off someone. The block was in there. I think it just comes off Salisu. And does that take it away from Schmeichel? He gets down to it. Salisu tries to block it. I'm not even sure, but... He's got to save it. For me, he's got to save that. Oh, Jamie Vardy trying to find that ball to Gomez. He's actually got it through to him in the end. What Gomez do here. I'll pull that one back to Jamie. Jamie now from distance. Oh, I think it hit Brooks. What a save from Arias. I think that hit Brooks. Not bad. Gomez wanted the overlap. He's got it. I don't really have ult from Jamie Vardy there. I might in the end. Vardy! Oh, ho, ho. we're back in it. Great ball from Justin, great overlap, great play from us, 1-1. One, one. Just shows how valuable Vardy still is, though. His movement is just pff, nuts, isn't it? And then Jamie, I like it. Oh, he's still got it. He's still very special. Jamie Vardy might find the ball through as well. There's too many numbers there, but honestly, when he turns a player like that, it's, it's magnificent. He's just got it. He's got that. Unbelievable skill to just turn. Try and put this into a dangerous position. Jamie Vardy, he's got a brace. He's got them both back. Oh, it was the right decision to start him today. 2-1 Leicester City just before the half. Can I break them down again? I'd love a cushion here in the second half. I really would. 
Make me feel a little bit better about this whole situation. Sanchez there couldn't get the ball away. Because I just feel like Southampton are a threat. And let's be honest, I haven't got good history against them. They're a bit of a bogey side for me. So them still being in the match is a little bit nerve-wracking, which means I will play worse because I'm nervous about them getting back into this. So that's good defending in the end there, though. The play there. Gomez has been found. Gomez gets that one out wide to Justin. Terrible idea for a shot. They're sitting deep, so we're having to work the ball nicely. Jamie Vardy will turn and shoot. Oh, he's still got it. Jamie Vardy for a hat-trick. Great save. Gomez now making that run. Oh, he's got options. I know he's going to pull that back. That's great play. Brooks, he's not selfish. Vardy gets a hat-trick. Good old match ball for Jamie Vardy. We book our place in the final. There goes the final whistle, and that seals our fate. We'll be returning to Wembley at the end of the season to take on, I imagine, Man City. We'll have a look now. It could be Brighton. You never know. That was a tough game of football, though. Southampton put up a good fight. They really did. And to be fair, we're doing really well at the moment. We're sliders, aren't we? Like, I've kept the same set of sliders now for quite a few games. Man City will be in the final. Will there be revenge there for Manchester City? You'll find out in the next episode. Bit of a teaser, that, wasn't it? Bit of a teaser into the next episode. Don't know why my voice raised so high then. But now it's Atletico Madrid to take on and hopefully we can get a decent result. Not bad money either, a mil. I mean, a mil to a premiership side is not really much. I think the budget next season is going to be huge, which will allow us just to take the squad to that next level now next season. This is starting 11 for the Atletico Madrid game. Hopefully we could be leaving this first leg with a very good result. Bear in mind their formation. I destroy this usually, but fortunately for me, there is no Luckman. So the pace I would have had on the wings isn't what I would normally have. And if they tightly mark Daka, we could really struggle here against Atletico Madrid. I thought this would be a really tight game, but when we opened the score here in the first four minutes of the game, I was absolutely shocked, but no other. Patterson Daka again. Great ball over from Brooks, to be 100% honest. And he's never going to miss these opportunities. He's very good at scoring early in a game. I will give him that. Didn't last too long, though. Raul Jimenez for Atletico Madrid. And this was a real tight game of football. Look at that touch up there to be able to hit that on the volley unbelievable stuff from him and honestly a really tight game of football and this is a beautiful finish from Raul Jimenez they piled on the pressure after as well we were a little bit sloppy at the back at times which was very frustrating Saul just going over and it was tight it was super tight but right at the end of the game here Harvey Barnes secures us the victory at home I'm not sure that will be the case there was a lot more opportunities here for Atletico Madrid than first seems and Harvey Barnes, though, our number seven. He hasn't been unbelievable, but scoring there from a tight angle. And that will give us the advantage, of course, going away to Madrid, which I think will be a difficult place. You saw what happened against Man City in the second leg. So I don't think this one's done and dusted by any stretch of the imagination. We played very well. Good pass accuracy from us today. A very even game of football. Though. Both teams having opportunities. We luckily came away with a win. James Madison with the assist. He found a very good pass in that position as well. So happy with the result regardless. Only a couple of days after that Atletico Madrid result, we were forced into this game here against Aston Villa, which we managed to win 3-0. Daka with a brace and Madison with a goal, which is good to see. He's still going next season, but it's good to see it. Samare coming on Curtis, the youngster, and Ian Acho. So... The season, in terms of the league, is looking set. Top four looks like we've basically achieved that. Depending what Chelsea can do now, it's all down to potential cup finals. We have the advantage against Atletico Madrid, but it is very, very slim. And that match was very tight. And then we've got Man City as well. So the next episode will be the end of the season. It's going to be absolutely action-packed. And I'm going to slam as much as humanly possible. And that's what we're going to do with this series now. I want to start getting through it. I want to do, if I'm being honest with you, one series which is live and which will take a little bit longer and we'll play through it slower, which will be Barcelona in the long run, and then probably a road to glory after that. And then other series around it that are shorter, but it's like a full season within like three episodes. Kind of like what we've started with Newcastle, which will be continuing. I want to kind of do that. So I think that's probably going to be kind of what happens here with Leicester. Maybe not exactly that style, but it is going to be sped up a lot now so that we can get through these career modes. I see lots of different career modes on the channel and I think that's the quickest way to do it. So 
blockbuster end of the season in the next episode. And as you can see there, we are currently fourth in the league on 67 points. Arsenal now in fifth, but they've played a game more than both me and Chelsea. And we actually play them in the next episode. But that's going to be it for this one, guys. If you're new around here, please make sure to smash that subscribe button. I appreciate your support as per usual, guys. I am back and feeling a lot better as the days go on. And my focus is fully fixed here on YouTube. Take care. I'll see you in the next one.